An estimated 2,000 people under the age of 25 die each year of sudden cardiac arrest, according to the Centers for Disease Control. But is there a way to prevent tragedy from striking? CBS 2's Christine Sloan has the story. Everyone tried to understand, wrap their head around what happened because he was the strongest of us all. Rosina Walker's grandson, Katim Sherrod, was a football star, an all around athlete at Edison High School. The 17 year old collapsed and died back in 2009 while running track off campus. Katim um, had an enlarged heart, hypertrophic cardiomyopathy. David and Joanne Babbitt shared the same pain. They lost their 16 year old son, John, to the same condition. He was just running down the court and all of a sudden boom he fell. Both families joining New Jersey Congressman Frank Pallone Monday at Edison High School. He's introduced legislation he says will combat sudden cardiac arrest in young people, especially student athletes. It's all prevention oriented, research oriented um, and awareness so people realize that this is even a disease. The proposed legislation would require the CDC and other agencies to create emergency response plans for schools, including guidelines on CPR training and the placement of life-saving automated external defibrillators, also known as AEDs. Using a defibrillator and starting CPR within minutes of sudden cardiac arrest, your chances of survival increase anywhere from 50 to 70 percent. Parents would also be given risk assessment sheets to see if their children have any symptoms requiring more testing. It can be as small as his, no appetite. These student athletes tell us testing can make all the difference. They just discovered I had an arrhythmia, so my heart was just going a little more faster than it should have been. After Katim's death, the high school making sure they would never face another tragedy like that. They now have six mounted AEDs and eight portable ones like this. Whenever a runner goes off campus, we'll have one of our coaches follow behind with an AED. Pallone says he's got bipartisan support and hopes the bill becomes law next year. In Edison, New Jersey, Christine Sloan, CBS2 News.